Also, say once I get to this door, there's nowhere else the sunken crew can be, so I'm gonna dump my food into HP. No reason to have it. I will not be exploring anymore. I 100% did the rest of the dungeon, and I am not going back for any of those. So, um, this guy is not completely useless. You'll see. You'll see, chat. I'm also just going to 100% be spamming Blight on this guy. Remember last time when I had my guy get grabbed by the anchor and held still for like 12 years? While constantly getting stress on every single turn that passed? That literally cannot happen if you were virtuous. <laughs> so, yeah! <gasps> this guy, completely worthless. That is why I brought the Arbalest. Yeah, no, like, I am I am immune to the stress of the fight, and it is just dumb. So in other words, I am now turning my herbalist here into a walking, talking, friggin' actual cannon. Um. 23% damage, 4% speed, plus 4 speed, uh, 23% damage while guarded. 8 accuracy, 7 crit. Oh, by the way, she's guarded, so she is getting that damage buff here. And, she's going to do bonus damage against marked targets. Also, failed again, which just de-stresses my party. <gasps> but yeah, um, crit mod of 8%, plus 80% damage and 12% crit against uh, marked targets. While she is buffed to hell! <laughs> 44 damage crit. <laughs> this is a satisfying fight this time around. It's so satisfying. And I do believe that damage buff from Noxious Fumes is for the battle. Or Emboldening Vapors is for the battle. So the other one's going to my, uh... My abomination here. Also, still marked. Um. <laughs> I planned this, chat. I planned for this. Uh, I guess that's worth more than four torches. That was a 50 damage crit. My Arbalist did 94 damage by themselves. <laughs>